<laughs> peace and high frequencies everybody this is I owe music I just love listening to the evolution of music from the melanated people is just absolutely beautiful y'all I just I love our, our history of music and the evolution of it um you know, even to the music we listen to now that I don't, a lot of the hip hop and all of that I don't listen to, but just the fact that we still get to incorporate um, some of our ancient practices that's embedded within our DNA of who we are within our music is beautiful. I got on here today to talk to you about, about my dream last night. If you've cl clicked on my community tab, when I woke up at two o'clock this morning, are these ducks that don't want to get out the way in my neighborhood, y'all. It's five of them. Five of them, y'all. Five of them. Let's, let's y'all see them. Some other things happened in the dream that's not really quite clear right now that I can't remember. If I recall it later, I'll share it, of course. Um, but that's all that I'm getting at this point. And so, um, the cloak ship. Cloak ship. When I woke up, I posted on the uh, community tab, and then I scroll on YouTube since I was up for a little bit. I always, like, I do YouTube divination. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy. But what it is, I only follow certain energies and people. And when I say YouTube divination, what I'll do is I'll refresh my YouTube homepage, and then I scroll down. And then the first um, video post that I see, that's what I look at. I feel like that is a message from my higher self on what I need to look at and review. So the first post that was on there was from 13 Signs Astrology. Now, I used to watch 13 Signs Astrology real tough about nine years ago. Um, I don't really watch him as much now, but about nine years ago on my awakening journey, he was a key piece of me download more higher spiritual information so this video he was talking about the anunnaki so i was like perfect this is a wonderful segue from this dream into the anunnaki because more and more on my next level of a spiritual awakening i have been calling forth more of course you all know naga and anunnaki information is now starting to resonate with me i'm gonna tell you the truth before i wasn't there it didn't resonate with me i had no clue what the anunnaki was that's just where i was and so now i'm like since the naga woman appeared to me i'm really more into the anunnaki so i let listen to what he shared and i'm gonna put the link to 13 size astrology link on the Anunnaki because he's the first person that I've listened to besides Seven Bomar that I resonated with what they shared um, and I'm sure there's other people that's out there but he also brought up Zachariah Sitchin and you remember last week I told you I went to sleep listen to the 12th planet on Zachariah Sitchin so I've been drawn more and more to Zachariah Sitchin and, the, and listen to what it is you know i'm not saying that everything he puts out is golden i got i told my significant other day uh other the other day when i listen to things i take in what resonates with me and i spit out the seeds i spit out what doesn't resonate that i can't take as fruit for myself um so that's what i do with everybody that i listen to so i'm gonna link his information here but yeah y'all that was the dream on the close spaceship what I'm feeling like is on our journey, on our path to awakening even more on different levels of satire, what we are receiving is more um, veils are being removed from our eye, our first eye. And we're able to take in information and see through dimensions and take through different levels of consciousness. Um, just like I feel like even with what we so-called say other life forms or beings on other planets, from my perspective, I feel like these are energy beings and forms that live in other dimensions that we are able to tap into once we get to a higher level of understanding and consciousness and we continue to peel back those layers and we can see past this um, wavelength of light here in this dimension because we can only see so much and there are beings that are on this uh, physical planet that we oh this truck is going dirty rocks oh, um it's beings and forms that are on this plane of existence with us but we 
child may be of a different vibration that keeps them cloaked. So, I don't know what my dream at this point was trying to tell me about the cloaked ship. I do have some ideas that I'm starting to uncover the fact that I'm able to see past different wavelengths and I'm going to be able to see those other beings in other dimensions as well. So yeah, y'all, um, as we release, and I haven't done any psychedelics, my hair don't, I ain't take any mushrooms, y'all, I haven't done any DMT, I haven't done any LSD, I haven't done anything, the only thing I've been doing is eating um, my vegan and vegetarian meals, remember last week I was doing the pineapple and the pomegranate juice. I've been drinking a lot of pomegranate juice. My spirit's been calling for that. I've been doing the Hei Shu Wu ancient herbs as well as the 80 mortals ancient herbs that I showed you all. Um, I keep them in my purse. I'll share with them with you again so you all can see. Oh, wrong one. This is the 80 mortals that I've been taking, of course. And then the Hei Shu Wu right here somewhere. Here it is. And the Hei Shu Wu. So this is what I have been consistently taking um, every day. Uh, keep it in my purse sometimes twice a day. Um, and that is along with, you know, just breathing work. Um, breath work um, is also going to help you. Um, remove those veils so you can see the cloak ship and the cloak ship to me it could be physical but for me it's more so metaphorically speaking it is releasing those layers so you can see past the wavelength of light that we are that we have been dumbed down to in this dimension and we can be able to see those beings those ancestors those other energetic forms that have been around us um, some have been protecting us, some may be opposition, but either way we're able to remove those veils to see it. And we can't remove those veils if we're constantly um, eating those foods that they put uh, this type of, I would say, uh, very, very uh, low frequency in it to make us docile, to make us not aware, to keep us you know, at bay from understanding who we are. Uh, that's what comes to me. So, of course, we want to remove that and we want to work within our power and claim back our power from the religious sectors that we may have been involved with when we were unaware. And taking things, like I just showed you, the hate you, the 80 mortals, taking a week out from eating uh, flesh, Everything else that's associated with it. Um, acid and these fake juices and these, um, yeah, all of this acidic food and fried foods, you know, all of that. Because like I was telling somebody the other day, you know, you can do herbal therapy all you want to. But if you're not changing the frequency, if you're not eating high vibrational foods that have been, you know, grown in soil as majority of your diet then the herbs don't work you are dumbing down your magic right you're really not able to work in your full potential so even if you're seeing some magic go on and you're able to manifest and do different things just think about how much more you could do if you didn't have an addiction to those foods and to those chemicals that are in these fried foods and these wings and all the rest of this bullshit that y'all put in y'all gut and the gut mind is the first mind that gives you the intuitive information and guidance on how you need to move so you're actually moving in the way that the opposition wants to but because of the melanin that's in your DNA the melanin that's in you that's being released from your pineal gland you're still able to work magic but they know you can't work at your full potential because they still feeding you this bullshit and you eat it I don't know if I shared with you, I met a food scientist, um, black guy, on last week. Amazing. He works He works at a um, corporation, and he deals with the ingredients that are in foods. 
and it wasn't by happenstance that I ran into him. I was supposed to meet him and talk to him. Of course, we're going to do some work together, um, and I'll talk to him more. But yeah, I just wanted to share that about the cloak ship um, as I go into the office. And as always, I want to leave you all in peace.